Articles by Kevin Franklin here. The Trouble with Trailers, Trailer Inspection and Maintenance Tips. Like the boats they carry, trailers also need routine maintenance to ensure safe operation. From corroded U-bolts to frozen wheel bearings, the potential for boating problems are as likely to occur on the road as in the water. Here are some inspection tips to keep your trailer rolling along. Frame and axle care. Corrosion is your trailer's constant enemy. Spray all parts that are not galvanized or made of stainless steel, U-bolts, nuts, leaf springs, etc., liberally with a rust inhibitor such as CRC or Shield T-9. One insidious problem to watch for is corrosion inside the axle tube as a result of trapped water, which can lead to catastrophic failure of the axle. To avoid this, verify that the axle is completely sealed, or if not, that it drains properly after each use. Uh, boat trailers are subjected to a lot of bouncing and vibration, so be sure to check the tightness of all nuts and bolts for your trailer's hardware, structural components, leaf springs, and the like during your annual inspection or in preparation for and during those long road trips. Hubs and bearings. One crucial maintenance item is the care of your trailer's hubs and bearings, especially those that are regularly submerged during the launch and retrieval process. Hubs should be disassembled and thoroughly inspected at least annually for corrosion and damage, such as wear or pitting, after which they should be cleaned and repacked with a good quality marine grease. Uh, many owners replace the grease seals each time the hub is pulled as a cheap preventative insurance. Check bearings by jacking up the trailer and giving each wheel a good tug and spin while checking for unusual noise, vibration, or excessive play, any of which can signal worn or damaged bearings. Uh, for your brakes, trailer brakes will typically be either hydraulic surge brakes, the most common type, or electronically activated brakes, both of which use either disc or drum brakes. Uh, drum brakes are typically found on trailers used for smaller, lighter boats, while disc brakes are best for larger boat trailers. Corrosion is the primary concern with both types of brakes. When inspecting surge brakes, Check wheel cylinders, brake lines, and the master cylinder for corrosion and fluid leaks. In addition to changing out your brake fluid annually, you should also check the brake fluid level before each trip. Regularly inspect the fluid itself for rust, sediment, or water contamination. Tires. Inspect tires regularly for cracks and other signs of UV damage. Correct tire pressure, loose lug nuts, and the like. Trailer tires deteriorate more rapidly when constantly exposed to sunlight. However, you can extend their service life by using tire covers, solid color garbage bags will do in a pinch, or storing your boat inside. Application of a tire protectant such as Armor All will also help. Even the ground will eventually rot your tires if they sit long enough. For trailers that remain idle for extended periods of time, Consider removing the tires, uh, placing stands or blocks under the frame, and storing them indoors, a strategy that will also help discourage would-be thieves. When replacing tires, never mix and match different types, bias ply and radials, for example, and use only tires designed for use with boat trailers. They're typically more expensive, but they have thicker sidewalls, and they're more robustly constructed. Rollers and pads. Check your trailer rollers and pads regularly for splits and cracks, uh, loose or damaged hardware or equipment. Worn or broken components should be replaced immediately, both to eliminate launch and loading problems and prevent damage to the boat's hull. If roller replacement is needed, the translucent yellow or clear poly units are more UV resistant and hold up better than the black rubber ones. Winches. Regularly check your winch strap or cable for kinks or fraying. Replace immediately if damaged. You'll also want to check the winch itself for loose mounting hardware, loose or worn gears, and internal components. For electric winches, make sure the power cable is corrosion-free and in good condition. It's also important to remember that the winch is designed to assist in loading and unloading your boat, and, but will not hold it on the trailer. Always use a safety chain and properly strap or secure your boat in place once loaded to prevent it from shifting or bouncing off the trailer altogether. Lights and wiring. Look for corrosion at all connectors and fixtures. A dab of protective grease will help in this regard, as well as wires that are damaged or not properly supported. 
Older style trailer lights consist of two red plastic lenses held together by screws and kept watertight by sandwiching a rubber gasket between them. Check the tightness of these screws monthly as they often loosen due to road vibration. It's also a good idea to pull and inspect the rubber gasket annually or simply replace it each year as a preventative maintenance against failure. Uh, most new trailers come with sealed LED lights, a plus in the war against blown bulbs and corroded sockets. However, not all LED lights are created equal. Before swapping out existing incandescent lights, make sure that the new LED lights are as bright as the factory installed originals. Finally, we're going to close with some safer towing tips. Uh, one, get in the habit of doing a quick trailer safety check prior to heading out on the highway and after each pit stop for gas, food, or whatever. In addition to looking for obvious damage, check the hubs for overheating. They should be warm, but not burn your fingers hot. Uh, make sure all lights are operating properly. Verify the trailer ball and the hitch connection is tight and that all safety chains are in place. Number two, always carry a spare tire and jack. If relying on your tow vehicle's jack, verify it'll also work for your trailer. Many won't. And also verify that it's beefy enough to lift the boat and the trailer. Uh, number three, be proactive and put together a spare parts kit for your trailer. Include spare lug nuts, extra fuses and bulbs, both for trailer and tow vehicle, a few pieces of electrical wire, uh, wire connections, duct tape, and an extra bearing protector, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, you should also carry basic tools, hammer, socket sets, wrenches, screwdrivers, grease gun, um, as well as any specialty tool or item. Emery paper, for example, to sand a scarred axle spline, uh, assorted blocks of wood, cotter pins, and the like. Number four, for longer trips, consider carrying a spare hub with bearings already installed for added peace of mind. Uh, number five, a good roadside emergency kit complete with flares, reflectors, and a flashlight will be extremely useful in the event of a breakdown, particularly at night.